what's going on everybody it's dj welcome back to comston farms episode number 20 today is going to be a big day we're finally selling all of this wool that we've been collecting for the past year and it's harvest day so if you've got too much wool laying around your farm or you just like farming simulator 22 in general make sure you're subscribed that way you never miss any future content here on the channel so today is going to be big it's going to be interesting and i have no idea I'm gonna get all this wool transported. As a matter of fact, I actually do know how I'm gonna get all of this transported. We're gonna get another trailer. I think I can get away with only one or two more. We definitely got a whole full load right there, but I think these three stacks right here, we might maybe just be able to get away with running two more trailers. So let's get those real quick. What I wanna do is figure out a, which one we've got? B, is there anything on sale? There's a John Deere 47. Oh my goodness. I do love that one. I do love that one a whole lot. Doesn't look like there's anything that's going to benefit us too much in here. So we'll move on. What are we using right now? Oh goodness, I got to find it. Here we go. Bell trailer. So we've got the Ponds Ford doing bells. And then we've got our auto load right here, the Egriliner PWO. So let's go in and let's see if we can find that. Got it. Now we just gotta figure out what color we're gonna make it. I think I'm just gonna stick with a standard design, just the same thing that we've been used to. I think one thing I might do is just go with like an all black look. That way it separates itself from the ones that we've already got. This will be perfect. We'll lease a couple of these. Boom, 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 done. All right, now let's jump in this. I do love this tractor so much. I think I've got it set to auto loading normal stuff. Yep, all right. Let's do a little click, click, click. We'll go as fast as we can. That way it'll line up perfectly. Got it. All right, that's trailer number one. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be heavy is what this is gonna be. How am I gonna get out of it? Oh boy. So it has come to my attention that, that I don't know if I can get out of here with all these trailers in tandem. We'll figure it out. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll be able to get out of here, but I'm, you know what? I don't think we can. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see if we can go ahead and get all of this loaded up. Doop, 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 doop. And hopefully everything that's left will fit onto one trailer. I'm hoping. Also, we're definitely going to have to swap tractors. There's no way. There's no way that I could pull all of these. I mean, this will barely do one. I think it's just going to laugh at two. And three is going to be like, you want, wait, hold on. You want me to do what with, with what? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck, aren't I? All right, let me host the powers this thing out of here. One more. I didn't count. Probably should have counted. Do you guys count? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's your first question of the day called action. Do you count your wool pallets? And does it even matter? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's get these loaded up. I do want to do this because it's super satisfying. Normally I just click off, but like... Man, that's so satisfying to just watch them go boop on there like that. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have been asking questions about uh, auto-loading for consoles and things like that. And uh, it, there is a thing that is do... Oh, boy. That's... That's not completely right. Oh, we got it all. And we've got one spot left. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. Uh, console players have been asking... Oh, there's another one. Seriously? And it's got a spot open at everything. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't tell anybody. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'll talk about consoles here in just a second. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> the console version of this does work, and it works very similar to this. However, it works like a trailer. You know how you tip into a trailer? Uh, like this, for example. You tip into this trailer, and then like this heap of uh, wheat pops in well basically that's how the console versions of these are going to work but they will be here and they're going to come with other mods as well which is kind of cool i'm very 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 excited did i did i nail that perfectly that's literally the exact number that i need i'm so good at what i do yes and right, there's only one way that this is going to work i know it you know it oh <laughs> All right, so maybe there's not even one way that this will work. I don't think it will work at all. Uh, I can't get this, the wheel to, to go because it's so heavy that I can't, I can't make it work. 
Okay, maybe I can. I don't. Man. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, give me just a second. I, I think I got this, but this is going to take a hot minute. And there it is. The entire setup. We've got it all. How much do we have here? 94,000 liters of Hul. Oh, boy. Um, well, I can pretty much tell you we're not getting out that way to our right. I think going this way might be the only way out. And yeah, the the little fit is pulling, man. It's got 200, I think 270 horsepower, something like that. So it's not, it's not a baby. But when you've got this much of something on the back, especially something as heavy as wool. Yeah, it's, it was just heavy. It's extremely heavy. But we're going to have a great sale because this is selling pretty good right now. It's selling, I think it's like $2,100 per thousand liters. Not terrible. We're going to the garden center up at the top left-hand corner of the map. Fortunately for us, we're already about I don't know, halfway there, a third of the way there. There's our column, our beacon, the green beacon in the sky. Oh, this is going to take a while. I can't do it. It's not going to work. <laughs> also, uh, that gate down there is invisible, so that's fun. Uh, this is like hump day hill climb back in the day whenever I used to do hill climb videos with tractors to see how much weight they could pull. This, I mean, it's doing it, but I'm in the middle of a field, which is not exactly ideal for traction. I did set it to uh, all wheel drive, so everything's going. She's going full blast. Was it 2000 RPM, 1700 RPM, something like that. And I'm getting a little bit of slap, but I'm still going one mile an hour. We're doing okay. All I gotta do is get over this hill. And we're perfectly fine because it's all downhill from there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Turns out the poor little Fent could not do it. It got stuck in the field. Now, I don't think this is going to do it either. This has twice the amount of power, but because it's geared so quickly, I don't think it's got the pull. Even though it's doing just fine. Actually, twice the speed it's going 200 percent faster 100 percent. i don't i don't know man shut up uh <laughs> this is working this is working just fine it doesn't have the weight on the ground i mean this is i think it's about four four tons total lighter but it's working it's working just fine it's gonna get the job done ladies and gentlemen yes sir i oh, love it and we should be able to go a little bit quicker as well so there it is about 95,000 liters of wool moving at 25 miles an hour. That's scary. That's terrifying. <laughs> let's get it over here and let's get it sold. I love this JCB. If you guys haven't downloaded the new JCB yet, definitely check it out. I've already modified it because I love it. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. Uh. Oh, I'm on a bridge. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to go in from this side. Uh, this is just, this was a bad idea. I've had a lot of bad ideas. We can all agree. This is, this one was, was pretty rough. <laughs> hey, at least it's getting done, right? All right, let's pull it in here. I figure instead of trying to edit through and go through all this, Hey, I'll bring you guys along for the ride because this is slightly cringe and difficult. Uh, what's the what's the largest load that you've tried to pull through here? 10 trailers? 15 trailers? 38 trailers? Let me know. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for the selling. This is going to take a little bit of time. Oh, and please tell me that's not going to open inward. Sure is. Thanks. Pull it through, get it done, get these sold. Money's going up like it's going out of style. Oh, it's selling fast too, dang. All right, I have no idea how much money we made. So we're gonna have to go into here and, and see uh, what it is, $208,000. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and re uh, return these, that way we don't have to deal with them later. 
and I can get back home safely. All right, we're done with, well, all of that. By the way, we sold a bunch of stuff. Since we got that new loading wagon, I was able to sell our merger, our tatter. We also sold the other forge wagon and the little piece that goes in the front of it. Now, we get to start working on harvest time, which I'm really, really excited about. Let's jump in the new Holland. I did try to modify the new Fent Ideal, the, uh, the MP series or whatever it is. I tried to modify those, but they're a little bit interesting because they're literally the same models that we've got in game. They're just diff changed engine, I guess. I'm, I'm not quite sure. The, the base files are referring to the base game Fent Ideal and Massey Ferguson Ideal, which, by the way, the Massey Ferguson Ideal also uh, forwards to the Fent Ideal. So really, out of those four mods... Well, there's only one. I say four mods is four base game pieces of equipment. Uh, yeah, they're all literally exactly the same as far as game code goes. So that's fun. That's very interesting. So I, I was going to use the uh, Fent or Massey Ferguson ideal, the new one, in place of this tra or this combine. But why? It's the same thing we've got. It's just got a different name on it. So I decided not to worry too much about it. Eventually, we will replace this new Holland Combine Harvester. I love this thing, really do, but working with is a little bit small. Uh, eventually, we're probably going to upgrade both combine harvesters that we've got, and we'll just go with some some big, big ones, something that we can throw uh, one of those draper heads on that has its own trailer on it and be done with it. That's the game plan, at least. <sighs> Maybe one day. I say that. We got $960,000, and I don't plan on spending a penny of it. Eh, maybe one day we'll go ahead and uh, do that over. Hey, possibly at the end of this year in game. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go through and complete one more, uh, or complete this year in game. And I think from there, we'll probably call it, at least on this map. I will be going on vacation, like in real life, here in about two weeks. So probably what I'm going to do is I'll have a video releasing every day from this series on that. And once that is over... We'll probably call it on this map and we'll move on to whatever's next so speaking of moving whatever's next let's finish this field up we'll run our two or three headlands whatever we need to get done and then we'll get on the cloths start working on the big field you know what no i decided we're gonna do it now we're gonna get rid of this thing <laughs> so we'll go ahead and dump that into there we don't need that anymore as a matter of fact i don't even know why i'm driving this back I, I, don't, I don't know. I got no excuse here. We're going to get another Kloss Combine. I don't know. I okay, maybe we won't get a Kloss. I'm not sure. But let's let's buy it first, and then we'll sell this. How about that? Let's go in. Just double check and making sure nothing through here, nothing through there. Uh, so we've got this right here. This is the larger Kloss Combi of Flex header. No, that's totally fine. But I think I've got... Some kind of crazy modified version of something in here. Yeah, the one by Stevie. So these are, let's see, one's a little faster than the other one. That one goes six miles an hour. We'll just stick with this one. So we'll go with Kloss here. That's going to be our brand on the side. Main color, of course, that's going to be a Kloss green as well. There we go. Design color, I think this is on the side. We'll go with white. Yeah. And then I don't know exactly which color is Kloss, but uh, I think this will be just fine. Now, of course, the Kloss in real life is going to have red. Um, what do we call it? Tumblers, whatever it is in front. Um, the rotors, they're going to be red. But I think this is going to be fine, at least for what we're up to. So go and buy that. Oh, I don't know where that put that. Oh, I do know where it put that. Yep, it put it right there. Oh no, let's go and reset that. <laughs> let's do that. All right, so next is the harvester. Now, there is a, uh, I believe it's a modified version of a modified version, something around in here. Uh, give me a second. Is this it? No, I don't think that's it. Turns out the version I was going to use is an update to the version that I've been using. All right. <laughs> Where are we, man? Where are we? Did I save the game? I sure did. All right. So here's our header right here. Not too crazy. Looking good. Next, we need to get in here and find our harvester. Now, I'm going to have to go into mods DLCs because I don't know where it is. I think this is it right here. The 8,950-300 modded. Yeah. So this thing is epic it is absolutely awesome uh and it turns out one of my 
Uh, upgrades didn't work? Hang on, which one didn't work? That one, the 8900. For some reason, the 8900 uh, is still 18,000 and not 100,000. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I do like that kind of weird top on it, but I think I'm going to go with this. The Lexian 7600. It's got 500 horsepower. Totally fine for us. We are using trailer board tires, so nothing too crazy for us. Now, we do have a tracked option, but I wonder... Let's see. Okay, so we're not showing any... Uh, we're not showing anything wild and crazy. So why don't... I, I kind of want a wheeled version, but we're going to... It's, it's big. You know what? We'll just go with a broad. Yeah, there you go. Broad number two. Bring those tracks out. Make it nice and large. Um, I think the distributor header's like 13 point something. So we'll do 13 meters spread. Ladder on it. We'll do foldable ladder. Looking good. Ooh, the price is getting high. Oh, no. Uh, double flash beacon. I don't know what that means, but sure. I think that goes choom, 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 choom. Uh, field scanner. Don't know what that is, but we'll we'll not have that. And then the pipe, this is probably going to need to be a long foldable. Uh, I think 7X, that may be a little bit too big, but I think that's going to have to be it for now. $400,000 for our brand new combine harvester, which ain't looking terrible, baby. It ain't looking bad at all. There was a modded version, something like this, that I saw Farming Simulator 19. Very, very beautiful, beautiful combine harvester. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh... Ow. Well, they look awesome beside each other. Uh, big, big problem. Why is it over here? Why is it, why is it not on the other side? This should definitely be on the other side. Why does this look smaller? <laughs> You know, whatever, I don't even care anymore. Let's let's go ahead and hook up here and get this thing rocking and rolling. Again, I am pumped about this combine harvester. We're gonna use this on the larger fields, definitely. There's no way we're gonna be using this on the smaller fields. We'll go and fold it up, pick it up, looking good. We'll drop it down, just check the height. Height looks good as well. All right. I don't know if I can get this around here without hitting anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm excited! New combine harvester on the farm, baby! Yeah! Of course I'm stuck. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> uh, is this cringe yet? It feels very, very cringe worthy. Alright, so this combine harvester is gonna go to the other field. I gotta move step. Get you know what? Give me a second. Alright, just stay stay where you are, don't move. One thing we don't want is three combine harvesters. So we'll go over here. By the way, this is the mobile workshop mod. I had somebody asking me uh for a previous video and uh, just commented on their video like a, a minute ago. So yeah, mobile workshop mod. Good to go there. Oh, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I need to get this worker hired before I can use the new combine harvester. No. Well, hang on. Did the Combine Harvester really sell for $47,000? Oh, I got it used! I forgot about that part. Maybe... Maybe moving forward, we double check and see the... I think I made 80 grand on something that cost me 500 overall. Maybe even more. Yeah, we started with nine, 900,000 something? Oh boy, I'm bad with money. Workers hired now. Let's jump into the new boy right here. We'll double check. Uh, straw swath enabled. We need to make sure we do that because I want all the swath off of the straw. Drop it in. Do it to it. Uh, is the speed set up yet? No, it's not. Now it is. Have I talked to myself a lot during this video or is it just me? I, I feel like I've talked to myself a whole lot. I, I apologize to anyone watching at home getting uh, getting whiplash right now. <laughs> okay. This. This is pretty epic right here. Oh, yeah. I'm still going to run two headlands around the fields, but I tell you what, it ain't going to take long to get them done. That's for sure. Oh, I love it. But what I don't love is having to end these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I appreciate you guys watching and joining me today with Comstant Farm episode number 20. Season 3 Harvest is upon us and we have a 
ton of work to get done. Make sure you guys tune in over the weekend. We'll have some more Let's Plays for you right here from Comston Farm, picking up right where we've left off right here. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoAmp fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos, no matter what they may be. You're on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.